Thanks, Delmarva. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jen Falsetti and you're watching Good Things Delmarva, a show where we take a look at all the great things happening in your area. I'm joined now by Ramona Bradley, the Agency Director of Programs for the Deaf Independent Living Association. So good morning, Ramona. Good thanks morning, so Jen. Much Thank you for having us. For being here. You're very welcome. Now, first off, tell us what it, it's DILA, which stands for Deaf Independent Living Association. Tell us a little bit about that organization. Deaf Independent Living Association is a association that provides services to deaf and hard of hearing individuals throughout the nine counties in the Eastern Shore. Mm -hmm. And our primary focus right now is on residential services and those services are being provided in individuals' homes mm -hmm. as well as out in the community. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit about the services that you are providing for the deaf and hard of hearing? Uh, right now we provide those residential services can include anything from budgeting to food shopping to transportation, assistance at physician appointments, mm -hmm. um, accessing different services, going into social se security if they need assistance with that, accessing interpreters, and such. So your mission is to promote that there really are resources out there for residents that are deaf or hard of hearing here on the Eastern Shore. Talk to me a little bit about your mission. Um, our mission is actually to empower individuals to be able to be successful and live a happy and safe life. Um, the population that we definitely serve right now are those with developmental disabilities. So it can, they can be, our individuals are deaf, hard of hearing, with additional other disabilities. Yeah, so what, uh, you truly believe, and I think that this is absolutely amazing, you truly believe that many of the people that are hard of hearing and deaf have so many unique talents. Talk to me a little bit about that philosophy. I think that's, that's really great. Yes, they do. I think that any individual, and especially the population in which we serve, they can live happy and safe lives. They can be completely independent, just as every other individual can be, um, provided some assistance, guidance, and we empower them to be able to make choices and live happy and full lives. Yeah, so how many people would you say you see on a daily basis? Um, on an average basis, DILA probably provides services to anywhere from 20 and up to maybe 50 individuals. Wow. That's a lot, especially for somewhere that's so rural, like Delmarva. Yes, and in a year we probably provide services throughout the community, the nine lower counties and within this community, around 125. Wow. So mm -hmm. do you feel that more needs to be done to help those that are deaf and hard of hearing here on Delmarva? Do you think that there's more that could be done? I think there are. Um, DEAL is providing those services as far as being able to teach advocacy for individuals, mm -hmm. um, that there are specific rights for deaf and individuals, and to provide those supports that we can get out there and know that they can live and be happy and safe. Yeah. So talk to me, uh, we're in the beginning of a new year here, 2013. You've got some uh, stuff coming up in the near future. Talk to me a little bit about what you guys have going on in this new year. We do, we just recently kicked off our annual fundraiser, which is our Sign to Succeed program. And our goal was $60,000. Um, we're looking at new innovative services and we are providing um, our individuals, our staff, our staffing um, people, we're providing them with tablets and iPads to be able to provide virtual services. So with the virtual services, we are out there more in the community with our individuals, providing services in the home as we always have, but now we have the iPads and the tablets which we are able to access an online secure program to be able to get any kind of information that we need at any given time, provide training to our individuals with our iPads and tablets. So talk to me about the Sign to Succeed program. The Sign to, Su to Succeed program is in partnership with the Communities Foundation mm -hmm. um, and we recently um, are, we are requesting donations. Mm -hmm. Our main goal is about $60,000 yeah. and in order to donate, if you would like to, a donation, to send a donation to DILA, you can send a check to our administrative office at 806 Snow Hill Road, Salisbury, Maryland, 21804, and have the check made out to deal a sign to succeed. Or you can go right online and um, on our main webpage, which is www.dila.org, you can click on the Donate Online, and that will go directly to our sign to succeed. Or you can send it directly to the Community Foundation, and in the memo, just put uh, Deaf Independent Living Association. Mm -hmm. So you talked a lot about too about giving monetary donations, but are you in need of any volunteer services? If anyone out there is maybe inspired to, to help those that are deaf or hard of hearing in yes. the community? Yes, yes. Deaf Independent Living Association is open to all types of volunteers. Um, we also, we have a volunteer program as well as an internship program. 
So any college student that is looking for an internship could possibly access DELA. Um, also on our website, there are internship uh, applications as well as volunteer applications. Great. Okay, so will you just say the, the phone number and uh, the website one more time in case anybody mm -hmm. is interested? The phone number is 410-742-5052, and our address is 806 Snow Hill Road, Salisbury, Maryland, and the website is www.dila.org. All right, Ramona, thank you so much. You're for welcome. Being here thank with you very us. much, Jen, for having me. You're us. very welcome. And stick around. Good Things Del Marvel will be right back after this.